Famous athletes like Sugar Ray Leonard and Kevin Durant called Prince George's County home. Today, County Executive Rush Schoenbaker recognized a new generation of top talent, all under the age of 16. Kathy Park has more on the young champions. Wearing their team colors proudly. It's really special to me because I've been playing with this team since I was five. The Prince George's Storm celebrated another victory, this time off the field and inside the county executive's office. See everyone's faces. We are the first Prince George's County team to win an AYF national championship. On December 2013, the 10 and 11 year old players took home the American youth football title, beating out a team from Arizona 33 to zero. We have to work hard on the field and at practice because we do all the hard work at practice and it comes easy at game time. Head coach Ronald Gray says their kids and parents are committed to athletics and education. That kind of teamwork didn't go unnoticed. This is your day in Prince George's County. County Executive Rasher and Baker presented a proclamation highlighting their achievements. And moments earlier, another ceremony. Now, we can tell if you're really good, you know how? If you can improve my game, <laughs> then you're like the best. The honor yeah. went to Francis Tiafo, the county resident who picked up a tennis racket at the age of two and at 15 became the youngest winner at the Orange Bowl Juniors event. Andy Roddick and Roger Federer are some of the past winners. Uh, I practice four hours a day and do conditioning for an hour and a half. Their dad play for fun. I don't know how to play, but I like to watch them play. <laughs> His father was once a maintenance manager at the Junior Tennis Champion Center in College Park, a complex TFO now trains in. Aiming high, there's already talk of turning pro. In Upper Marlboro, Kathy Park, <clears throat> News Channel 8.